Today's topic. Today's topic. We're going to be on stereotypes and how they affect us. So, the first thing we need to establish, what is the purpose of a stereotype? In my opinion, the purpose of a stereotype, well, in my opinion, the purpose is that a stereotype helps reinforce or sustains a particular stigma or assumption levied on a group of people or person. And in our case, it's blacks, African Americans, a group of people. And not only can a stereotype reinforce a certain stigma, but it can also uh, reinforce a system that's being used to subjugate and oppress those people, as in our case. So let me explain. Look at the posted in front of you. You know, read it. Now it says that blacks have been classified as lazy ever since we started working for free. We stopped working for free. So in other words, between the time slavery so-called ended from now, the whole image of blacks, us African Americans, have been changed from victims of this American system to basically a group of lazy people who are somehow taking advantage but a system in the form of handouts, welfare, etc. Now, how was this done? It was done by over time, society being constant, constantly being bombarded by stereotypes in the form of propaganda again and again and again. Stereotypes that will support this classification of us being a lazy and degenerate people done so much that not only other non-African people of the world believe the stereotypes, but even us ourselves believe a lot of the stereotypes and essentially act out the stereotypes, therefore confirming or reinforcing the negative stereotype, the negative stereotype that was manufactured in the first place. And we see this all throughout history and even today. Us as a people acting out the stereotypes that those that are against us put forth, you know, when we turn on the TV. And, you know, throughout history, there's been plenty of examples, you know, of combating the stereotypes. A good example is uh, the Robert Townsend classic Hollywood chef, when it uh, basically, you know, challenged black actors not to take those roles to reinforce the negative stereotypes, regardless of the amount of money, you know, we know you got to get paid, but just like in a movie, you know, there's work at the post office, and um, that's one of the things that I want to touch on as well, that we got to, you know, acknowledge that reinforces the stereotypes, is, you know, the whole Hollywood thing, and uh, actors taking the, the BS roles, and, and this is a funny thing, because um, dealing with non-blacks, you know, kind of like what Martin Luther King said, you know, you want us to be judged by the uh, content of our character, I mean, not the color. And, you know, every other group seems to have that luxury. So if one of them mess up or whatever, it's just specifically that person. Whereas with us, it reflects on all of us, you know, the positives and the negatives. Uh, but we're not dealing with positive. And, you know, I don't even, I can't even really think of too many positive stereotypes. You know, even the one with uh, all brothers having, you know, big, big, you know, I'm saying big penises or whatnot. But, uh, you know, and I'm a man or whatnot, but, and I'm not even sure if that's a necessarily positive stereotype because that probably was rooted in nine times out of ten. It was rooted in exploitation for slavery and the whole Mandingo thing. But, you know, nevertheless, uh, these negative stereotypes, you know, constantly. Why? Well, how should I put it? It's just one thing we got to do is acknowledge the stereotypes. And another good example is that comes to mind is, you know, growing up. And even now, I bet nine times out of ten, I go to the average uh, brother or sister and tell them to act white. They'll start talking all proper and acting organized and kind of like assume a like 
being white with positives. And if you tell them to act black, they'll start uh, acting ignorant, you know, lazy, and assimilate being black or, you know, African descent is uh, with negativity. negativity. And, you know, and all that still from basically stereotypes over time. So basically, we, we being born, we basically be, like I said, constantly being born with stereotypes. So when children, when they look outside and look on TV, all they see is people that look like them acting a certain way. So they must be, oh, I guess this is how we are. And, you know, that's further from the truth. And, but you got a lot of people acting out the stereotypes. How far from the truth could it be? See what I mean? So that's one of the things us as people got to be aware of, you know, and even a step further. So when the kids, when they go into these stores and places to do business and commerce, nine times out of ten, it's not a person of African descent. So they don't even assimilate us as being real. It's business. It's business, you know, and they assimilate everyone else. You know, they assimilate us as basically being niggas, you know, and everybody else is being people. And forgive me, YouTube, I'm, I'm coming from the head on this video, I'm freestyling or whatnot. You know, I took a small footnotes, but I just wanted to get this out there because it's hot on my mind about the stereotypes or whatnot because, you know, the stereotypes, the propaganda, or whatnot, it shapes everything. We got the whole ill GPT thing, and of course, you know, you can do what you want to. It's really not none of my business to sleep with. But at the same time, you don't want to bombard the masses with that because now you got children who's not even old enough to even be thinking about sexuality. Just thinking about it, you know. And that's another video. But right now, I'm talking about the whole thing about the whole stereotypes, negative stereotypes raised on African Americans to reinforce the oppression against African. You know, and the uh, this stereotype meme on the page, you know, as far as us being classified as lazy, is a whole uh, stereotype. Uh, another good example of that is when you um, even dealing with uh, brothers and sisters from back home, from Africa. Not all of them, but a lot of them, how they look at us out here as versus being lazy and not taking the advantages of America, so called. You know, and they're not even acknowledging or forgetting that, hey, you the one that built this. The reason why you leave your country, and this is for anybody, not just people African descent, why you leave your country to even come to America, because it was built by us. And here you are with class lazy. And don't get me wrong, you got individual people who are lazy, who may happen to be from a black, who may happen to be white, Chinese or whatever. You got lazy people, you know, male, female, regardless. But, you know, the whole stigma that all black people are lazy. You know, we know where that comes from. And the thing is, we got to start uh, countering that, you know, with positive images. You know, and um, you can't expect Hollywood to do this. You know, we got the internet now, YouTube. we got to start doing that. Unfortunately, uh, you know, don't get me wrong. All groups of people like to party and drink. But, again, all that is being stigmatized on us. So these are one of the things, a few of the things that we need to be aware of and start working on ways to counter these stereotypes and divert these stereotypes into positive stereotypes. You know, black male and black female. You know, stereotypes of all people. And it's even, you know, uh, a person say if you're, you know, you're, you're non-black. And for certain things about Africans that you don't like. Willing to bet 10 times out of 10 that, that stemmed from a stereotype that was forced on you through propaganda. And unfortunately, some African Americans it was forced on them as well. But since it was designed for earmarked African Americans, they act out the stereotypes. And I'm not sure if I explained that right, but basically the same things. Things you hate about black people is not because they're black and that's racism. Now, as far as gang banging and all that, you know, we, a lot of black people hate that too. You know, and that stems from uh, oppression and 
Huey Newton had a saying, black on black violence is a product of white on black violence. And perhaps that could be another video I can, uh, you know, further elaborate on. But I say that to say those things that African Americans do, drugs and all that, African Americans hate that too. So if you're not an African, you know, I don't really don't even matter because the video is really not for that. But my point being is the whole stereotype. So when you point your finger, please be aware. And again, for us African American black people, you know, the priority is the children, and therefore changing the, their outlook, man. You know, and uh, and that's a whole other video. I can actually talk forever on that. And again, excuse me, because I'm going for the brain. But I can't overemphasize the importance of us in control of our image. That is paramount. Um, peace, YouTube. I'm about to start uh, addressing a lot of things. So uh, like, subscribe, or dislike, subscribe, comment if you think I should uh, address or whatnot. Anything, it doesn't matter. Uh, peace, YouTube. I'll be back at y'all very soon.